Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, firstly, excuse me, I'm full of a cold today. In fact, I think it's worse than that. I think it's man flu, which as we all know is the worst illness in the world. After I finish filming today, I'm going to go straight home and write a will. It's that bad, honestly. And you know me, I'm not dramatic or anything. Anyway, yesterday I bought a batch of five cars from a local main dealer. Four were just ordinary humdrum cars, they're already on the pitch for sale. The fifth car in this batch, however, was a little bit different. To be honest with you, it's probably destined for the scrapyard, but I just thought there's a little bit of hope left. There's a little glimmer of hope here, which means this might pass another MOT and stay on the road for another 12 months. I hate scrapping cars, so I really hope that I can save this one. What it is, then, is a 2004, that's right, it's 20 years old, it's a 2004 Kia Picanto. Alright, that doesn't sound particularly exciting, but it's only done 40,000 miles. So 2,000 miles a year, it's hardly done anything. Hey, hey, man there. Should get his number, really, shouldn't I? Now, I've paid just £400 for this Picanto, so worst, worst, worst case, if it does end up being scrapped, then I'm going to get £280, £300 back. So it isn't a massive loss, but hopefully if it'll pass another MOT, even if it has several advisor items, then it's worth £1,000. Anything with 12 months MOT these days is worth a grand. And this is all part of the fun, really, isn't it? It's a roll of the dice. I genuinely don't know if this will pass another MOT, or it's a complete nail, but we shall soon see. You've got to take risks in life, haven't you? It's what makes you feel alive. Otherwise, before you know it, you'll wake up at 50 and realise you haven't done anything with your life. And nobody wants that, do they? Right, anyway, let's go have a look, shall we? Fingers crossed. Well, we're here. It's blue. In fact, it's cobalt blue. That is the correct colour name for it, cobalt blue. And yes, I am that sad. It's a late 2004 54 Reg. It's from Manchester originally because it's got an M plate. ML54 wafer. Um, it looks like a 20 year old Picanto. It looks a bit down on its look. It's crying out for a new set of Reg plates. The headlamps want buffing, the wiper arms are rusty, it's missing its aerial, the trims aren't genuine and they look disgusting. The tyres are soft, near side front tyres flat. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. It just looks a bit, bit poor. Anyway, let's see if it's got any MOT and let's see if there are any advisory items, shall we? So as always, we're gonna to go to Car Vertical and do a vehicle history check. So it's really easy to use. All you do is go to carvertical.com. Might as well turn my engine off because it's making a weird noise. And then all you do is type in the reg or the VIN. Now in this case, we know it is Mike Lima 54 WFR, check vehicle. This will tell us whether it's ever been stolen, written off, had a mileage rollback, or has outstanding finance on it. And if you want to do one of these checks for yourself, and I urge you to do so before you hand over any cash for a used car or motorcycle, you'll save yourself 20% off each and every check that you do if you use my promo code HIGHPEAK. That's HIGHPEAK, all one word, or alternatively, click the link below in the video description. It's currently checking database in 35 different countries. This checks hundreds of millions of cars. So, it should give us a very thorough background search, basically. This is nearly done. The good thing is we've got both sets of keys. Now it is a base model, so there's no remote locking or anything like that, but we do have two of them. Lovely jubbly, right. The report's ready. Yeah, we're all good. This is a 2004 petrol Picanto. We never got the diesel, but I think in Europe, I'm sure I've, this sounds really sad. I'm sure I've seen and heard diesel Picantos in Spain. They love diesels there. So it's never been clocked. There's no outstanding finance and there's no recorded accident damage. So that's good and it's never been stolen. The last known mileage, look at this, was 41,400. The year before that, 39.8, 38.3, so yeah, 2,000 miles a year. It's probably been some, some old deer's shopping trolley, hasn't it, that? The average market price for such a vehicle is 1,537 pounds. So with a little bit of tinkering, that could be 14.95, couldn't it? 17.50, that sort of figure. It's the one litre. Right, now we're talking. The ownership changed in 06, then it was inspected, inspected, inspected. It failed. Right, this isn't looking great, is it? Let's go down to the most re Oh dear. Go down to the most recent ones then. Lots of advisor items here, guys. So the road tax is only £35 a year. Okay, so it passed its MOT in October last year. So it's still got quite a few months left, but, but... There were lots of advisor items. Minor defects, headlamps need buffing, basically. Then other ones, we've got exhaust has a minor leak of gases. 
near side front brake disc worn, near side front brake hose corroded, near side front coil spring, near side front tyre, near side rear brake disc, brake hose, brake pipe, coil spring, brake, brake hose, coil spring, tyre, brake disc, brake hose, coil spring, brake binding, brake fluctuating, and the rear registration plate deteriorated but not likely to be misread. Well, that's quite the list, isn't it? Uh, right, let's start this sucker up and go and have a look. Okay, then let's go and have a look, shall we? It's quite a nice day today. Sun's out. So back in the day, or back in its day, it was quite a good colour, this. Cobalt blue. It does look a bit flat, though, doesn't it? Never had a clean, and it feels... It feels gritty, like it wants a good buff. That tyre down there is particularly soft. Look at this. It's a land sale. They're tiny, aren't they? 14 inch. Uh, it's on about three mil of tread. Does look a little bit ropey around there, to be honest. Oh, that's had a terrible repair. Look at this. Can you see that? I don't know if the camera will pick this up. That's why it's so flat. It's covered in overspray. Lovely. Some paper on the parcel shelf there. <clears throat> it's got its original Bramwell Kia plates. We were a Mitsubishi and Kia dealer over in Oldham. It's a GS, which doesn't stand for great spec, I don't think. We've got a land sale on the front there. At least that one's got some air in it. My plan was my plan with this was just to keep it on the road a little bit longer, but I don't know whether it's worth it. So this tire then is those wheel trims are minging. So this tyre then is another land sale and it's from 2017. Now this side doesn't look too bad actually. Um, has it had repairs in the same place? No, looks all right. And we've got another land sale. So we've got a matching set of land sales, right. It is crying out for a good wash. Look at this, we've got green sort of algae and stuff, mold everywhere. But what looks like some tape on the back lens, which is a bit weird because it's not broken. Let's have a look inside then, shall we? We've got central lock in at least. And inside, it's been driven by somebody very short. I'm going to get my knees under there, will I? There we go, now we're talking. So it has only done 41,000 miles. It smells a bit, it smells musty, like mothballs. It sounds like Radio 1, that. Doesn't really fit in with my um, older person. Ownership experience. Here's the check, oh no, the check engine light's gone out. We've got the little blue sailboat there, which will go out as soon as it reaches temp. Sounds quite sweet, really. I know you should never rev a cold engine, but who cares? Right, it's very dirty. I don't think this has had a clean for many, many years, but I say very dirty, it just wants vacuuming. We've got no air con, because it's a, a base spec. Back in the early 2000s, this was the stereo that all Kias came with. Do you remember when you, uh, this is such a 90s thing, isn't it? You pop that off before you go to the shop so that no one steals your radio. And then usually you leave it in there. And that is the last place a car thief looks. There we go. Um, back there then, we've got lots of glitter. Glitter explosion. Um, it's all right. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, look at this. Hang on a sec. You'll like this. But the headlining is completely, completely dropped. Yeah. Hmm. Right, I don't think this one's worth saving, to be honest. Right. Let's have a look at the history, then. So, this is the last MOT. With dozens of advisory items there. Yeah, dozens, dozens, dozens. I'll turn this away before I reveal anyone's uh, personal details. So, it had a service in 2016 at 29. Another service in 20, 2017, the next, next year. This might have been looked after then, mightn't it? 
obviously just done none of the advisor items, which is a bit weird. Caliper, brakes, another service in 2020. Replaced crankshaft reluctor ring. Suspension arms, gearbox oil, ABS. Right, okay. There is a little bit of history there then. Oh, hang on, we've got a service book. Look at this. So its first service was in 05, then again in 06, then in 07, and then nobody stamped the book. I mean, to be fair, it's always better to have receipts, physical receipts like we've got here, rather than just stamps in the book. Because let's face it, anyone could buy a stamp off eBay and then fill in the service book themselves. Swapping hands and pens. I've never done that before, obviously, but I'm aware that it is done. Uh, what else can I tell you? Should we have a look in the boot, see if we've got any treasure? I mean, it sounds quite sweet. You can hear the slightest of exhaust blows, which is exactly what it said on the MOT, wasn't it? In the boot, then, what have we got? Uh, nothing. Some paper here. Uh, down here, we've got some storage. Um, and yeah, nothing really. Original tyre inflator kit. I think this needs to be driven, doesn't it? To see how, uh, how bad it is. See if there's a clutch in it, all that sort of stuff. Should we get it on the road? Right, first time driving the Kia Picanto. You have to be heavy handed sometimes, don't you? Clutch feels like a typical early Picanto. It's very spongy and it sort of stops halfway and then it's very reluctant to, uh, to come up all the way. Like it's got a bit of stage fright. Right. That mat is disgusting. It's getting caught under my pedal, so that can go. Yeah, I forgot how bad these clutches were. I mean, it feels all right though. We've got power steering. Oh, those brakes are not good. Shouldn't have done that really. Oh, juvenile. Oh, well, it's changing gear all right. It's pulling all right. Yeah, those brakes, terrible, terrible. That brake does work though. You know, just thinking about it, if I didn't get my hair cut every single week, another couple of weeks and my fringe would be rubbing on this headlining. Need a nail gun, don't we? Fire a load of nails up there. What am I gonna do with this? Shame I don't know anyone that just needs a cheap runaround for a few months because, I mean, this is good until October, isn't it, MOT-wise? We're only in April, aren't we? So you'd get a good six months out of it and then scrap it. Hmm. Might do that, you know. Might do that. I think in the meantime... I thought I could hear some music playing very, uh, very quietly in the background, and it was. I think in the meantime, I'm going to leave it for a wash, leave it for a mini valet, get it tidied up a tad, and then run it to my mechanics, see how bad it is. And then I might give you the, the damning report later. It'll be interesting to see actually how two MOTs differ. We've got one from October with loads of advisor items. So if we run it through another one at my mechanics, we'll see if they pick up on exactly the same points. They should do, because you know, it should be a, a certain standard, but often they're not. Take my Berlingo recently, which passed with only one advisor item, which this is always a little bit suspect, isn't it, on an 03 Berlingo? This isn't the worst thing ever, though, to be honest. You can tell that it's only done 41,000 miles. It's a shame we live in a country where used cars are completely worthless, because if we were on the continent, for example, this would still be a three and a half grand car, so it'd be worth fixing, but here, not so much. Three and a half hundred pounds, isn't it? My windows work. We've got what sounds like a bit of a bit of a wheel bearing noise. I think in fairness though, that's the, the least of this car's worries, isn't it? It's just a little bit too good to scrap, isn't it? I do worry sometimes that I'm just a hoarder. I never want to throw anything away, I always like to keep stuff. I'm not sure that's healthy. Right, so let me go and spin this little Picanto around. I'll take it for a wash, then I'm going to run it to my mechanics, and I'll have an update for you very soon. I suppose it can happen to any car, but I've never been in a Kia Picanto with a sagging headlining. It's usually 
usually don't laugh. Range Rovers and Jaguars. Wrong side. I forgot, early Kia is always the opposite. Oh, that sounds dreadful. What's going on? I should slow it down, really, because I've just remembered I've got about three PSI in one of my tyres. Ah, oh dear. And we're back in the cheap Picanto, and a lot's changed. My beard's gone for a start. I've just been ID'd by a can of Red Bull. Anyway, you're probably wondering about this Picanto. I mean, you're probably not, but we're here, so I might as well tell you. You know, I was thinking that the previous MOT plates might have been a bit fussy. They might have been a little bit too hard on this car, so I was thinking that my place might think that it's not that bad. Uh, no. A mechanic thinks it's awful. Awful. She's given me a very long, damning list. Hey, look at this. A Bolingo Roma home. Wow. What a sight. After we last spoke, I dropped this off at the car wash in the village for a quick mini valet. It was disgusting, so I thought my mechanic might look upon it a little bit more favourably if it was nice and clean. In fact, Usman, the guy that runs the car wash, said, Matt, Matt, why are you only buy rubbish cars? Now, to be fair, all the decent stuff that wants a proper valet, that always goes to Tameside. It's only really the, the cheap part exchanges and stuff like that, so I kind of see where he's coming from. That morning, I dropped off three absolute crocs. Just complete pigsties. So, I see why he'd say something like that, but still, I've got feelings too, you know. Anyway, I picked it up from there, and it does look a whole lot better. It was a good £15 spent, I think. Then I ran it down to my mechanics for a, a pre-MOT check. I just said, get it up on the ramp, see what it'd need to pass an MOT. See how bad it is, basically. Anyway, it turns out the answer was quite bad. Or V-bad, actually, as my mechanic described it. V-bad. I didn't ask any further, but I assume the V means very. In my pocket... Hang on, bear with me a second. In my pocket is a long list of faults. In fact, I shouldn't be doing this while I'm driving, should I? It's quite a long list, though. Do you remember reading about the Treaty of Versailles at school? It's that kind of length. I think what I'm going to do now, then, is park up somewhere scenic, and I'll read this long list out to you. That'll be exciting, won't it? I shall see you in five seconds. 5,000 RPM. Listen to that engine purr. Here I'll do, then. We'll park right next to this graffiti-riddled bin. Beautiful. Ready for this long list? Right, Kia Picanto, ML54, Whiskey Foxtrot, Romeo. Front brake discs worn, rear brake discs worn. Near side front tyre worn and cracking on tread. Near side sill, back... I think that says hole. So it needs two sills. Near side rear and offside rear. Okay. Rear brake discs binding. You can kind of feel that when you drive it. It almost feels as though, I mean, I'm probably on too much of a gradient here, but if I let this off, you can kind of feel it catching. Uh, offside front tyre worn, okay. Then they would have to advise the near side rear and offside rear flexes, and advise the near side front and offside front flexes, and the calipers, they're corroded, and the exhaust is blowing from the rear, can't read that, rear joint? Not sure. So it's basically, it is consistent with the previous MOT place. Now on a car like this, as sad as it is, it's only done 41,000 miles, it isn't worth fixing. So what do I do? It still has an MOT until October, but obviously I can't sell something like this because I'm risking my reputation. So I think I'm just going to have to move it along in the trade. But that's about it then, I suppose. Oh, and also we've got a sagging headline in. Clutch is all right. Right, thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link below. And yeah, cheers guys. See you next time.